Welcome back guys in this lecture we'll see how to create group products okay so for that uh, when is this group products used suppose we are selling different kind of products and we can group those uh, three or four products and provide as a single product for example uh, I can provide I can group three different products like uh, I'm selling a t-shirt shoes and accessories so I can uh, group three products a uh, nice shirt a shoes and a sunglasses okay so I can do this thing I can group all these three product in one single product so it increases the chances of selling so instead of a person buying one product he purchases three products and you know it helps both the parties he uh, you are helped because instead of uh, one product getting sold you are selling three products and that person is helped because you won't charge the same amount you know suppose the total sums up to hundred dollars then obviously you will get few dollars discount maybe five dollar discount then you'll charge around ninety five dollars for that so this is helpful for both the parties both the buyer and the seller so let's see how we do this we have already created a simple product now we are we let's create two more products two more simple products so that we can have so that we have you know three products and we can group those three products and uh, to make one single product so to create a new product there are many ways of doing that uh, in the product page at top you have add new product or from the left sidebar under products you have add new so you can use any of these links to create a new product so let's create a shoe now so let's click on shoes in the demo website now let's create this one this shoes okay it, it is men's blue shoes okay wait a minute instead of adding a new product we can actually duplicate that same product uh, so that you know it saves our timing for entering this uh, short description long description and so on okay so let me show you how to do that so under products you have all products just click on all products and here is the product which we have already created so what do you, you see many different options below that product so click on duplicate okay fine so when you click on duplicate product as you can see we are getting a copy image for that product now let's enter a new title for this men's blue shoes for this product okay so now we don't have to enter this short description long description it saves a lot of time now we have to create another category just untick this because shoes doesn't come under clothing uh, for this demo website for that we have created a new category which is shoes just enter shoes and click on add new category okay so and you from tag also you can just delete this tag and under men tag is good and create another tag which is shoes now you can change the price for this product this product maybe is for hundred dollars so you can put it hundred dollars and you can also change the product image so click on remove product image now click on set product image this method is used to save uh, time for when you have many products and you want to save time then you can do this now under product images under shoes this is the shoes this one yeah select this click on open now click on set product image now we also have to delete this uh, gallery images and put in the gallery image for this shoe so click on add product gallery images click on upload files select files and select these three images okay click on open okay fine so all the three images are uploaded successfully now click on add to gallery okay as you can see guys we have saved a lot of time by just duplicating that product now click on publish okay guys so we have successfully created our another product so now what we'll do we'll create a new product which will be a group product and we'll add these two products under that okay so again instead of creating a new product 
will again duplicate uh, an existing product and change the type from simple product to group product let me show you what i mean by that select any product and click on duplicate now let's change the title from men's blue shoes to men's blue shoes and blue shirt okay so we have changed the title now coming back it comes under both the categories shoes and clothing so we'll select both the categories now we'll increase the price from 100 to 140 dollars so we are basically giving nine dollars off when both the products are purchased now what we have to do we have to change the type from single simple product to group product okay now we have to select the warehouse warehouse maybe select any warehouse number stock quantity back orders allowed or not allowed link products if you want okay so here under group products link products under group products you have to type in the name of the product so when you type in something just three words you get the product so select this one first men's blue short sleeve now again type in the product name and now select the shoes so we have grouped the short sleeve shirts and blue shoes together in this particular product we can also change the product image now we can add some more image in the gallery we can delete one of this and we can add more for example because here only sh uh, shoes image is there in the gallery we can also add these images so let's select these three images and click on add to gallery so we have six different images in the gallery right now fine rest everything will be okay now click on publish now let's view this product open this link in a new tab okay guys so this is how a group product looks like you have the title you have the price over here which uh, which says one product is $49 another product is $100 but as you can see over here we can increase the quantity suppose we want one shoe and we want one blue short sleeves then we can select one one from here and click on add to cart then both this uh, product will be added to cart this is very helpful because you know uh, we get we give chance to the user to select two uh, multiple products in same page so this is very helpful and this is how you create a group product and in the next lecture we'll see how to create a variable variable product that is also very important what is a variable product we'll see in detail in the next lecture for this lecture this is it i hope you guys are enjoying the videos and these videos are helping you out if you guys have any uh, query any doubt you can uh, you know email me uh, in the last lecture in the previous lectures i have given you my personal email address realnayer at gmail.com you can mail me you can post a comment okay i'll try my best to help you out okay so guys see you in the next lecture till then take care